Hi and welcome to Nyange the Blessed Blind channel where you're interacting with the disability inclusive and assistive technology guru where we discuss issues to do with disability and specifically technology. Now for today we're interested to concentrate on refreshable brain display. Just before I say that, now please consider subscribing and thank you for doing that. I know where's your cosa. Now, to just lay a background of this, ni vizuri uwelewe kwamba kuna watu ambao wako na upungufu wa uwezo wa kuona. Yaani wale watu ambao hawaoni. They are called the visually impaired persons or blind people. Now, those people normally use a mode of reading and writing called braille. Braille is a mode of reading and writing by touch. For example, this is braille. This is a braille book. If you can see these dots, so we read by touch. Okay? For us to read a book like this, we write on one sheet like this, a sheet like this, and then another like this, until they end up, uh, when you finish writing what you want, then you do the perforation, and then you bind them using a binder like this to make a book like the one I'm holding. However, the problem is that Braille is always very bulky. Very bulky in terms, that, in terms of um, weight. This book, for example, is um, about 115 pages. 115 Braille pages equivalent to a print book. Almost half or actually three quarters. No, 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 I mean a quarter such that a, a print book may be just maybe say of 20 or 30 pages to produce a book like this, okay? Now, because of that bulkiness, there needed to be done something. Happen the possessor technology, lifanya kama, lienyewe. That's why now we have what we call refreshable braille displays. They're also known as uh, braille note takers. Hizi ni devices ambazo zinaweza kubali kuandika kwa braille, Na pia mtu waweza kusoma kwa braille. Kisha ukisonga, unaza manage in a refresh. So, I have a few of them here, which I want to show them to you. But before I do that, could you kindly consider subscribing? Please. Because that will help you, so that you'll be able to get all this kind of uh, info, even when I post it next time. Right? On a one, two, three, four, Five. Thank you. I'm so grateful that you've subscribed. Starting by this device here. I'll mention them by name for convenience of those people who may need to go for one like this. Now, I'm targeting by the end of this video that you shall have known uh, one, the available types of braille displays, specifically in Kenya. Two, that you shall be able to relate the available devices with the needs that you have. Kama wei ni mwanafunzi, kama wei unafanya kazi, kama the device that I will show you, kama itaza kusort your uh, braille needs. And three, in terms of prices, so that you may relate the price and the need and your pocket and then get to know what you want to really settle for. This is especially for those who may wish to support those uh, learners or people with the visual impairment with a device or then you may know on which one to settle on. Okay, having said that, this specific device here has a braille keyboard. A braille keyboard that normally contains of that's one, two, three, and then the right side, four, five, six. With this, you realize that it has a, a circle at the middle where it has the up, down, left, right and left arrow keys and then the other middle there's, um, there's a, a select key or which can also act as an OK key. But even before I say much on this, allow me to start wider by saying that refreshable braille displays or commonly called braille note takers can be categorized majorly into three. One, the low tech, two, the mid-tech, and three, the high-tech. High low-tech, 
mid tech and high tech what is this that makes these differences good this is a nobby trader this is a braille me device i'll be saying something a little about it this other one here is a focus braille 40 here a focus braille 40 we also have a focus braille 14 but uh, for the purpose of this demonstration i'll use 40 and lastly we have this other one here called braille not touch braille not touch we'll get to interact with each one of them just briefly to get to know a little about them let's start with this obi trader now the low tech like i did classify low mid and high tech refreshable braille displays refer to those braille displays that can do basic things now what is basic basic is that one you can type braille and you can also read in braille two that you can connect it to a computer or a phone that is a secondary device that you can connect to a secondary device like a computer or a phone and then be able to use it um, as a display that is in braille okay and four that uh, it is small generally most of them are small in size okay now a mid tech is one that would have uh, a little bit more features more features for example if you look the, uh, this device that is the orbit reader and uh, and um, braille this is the focus braille 40 don't be disguised by the size of 40 because there's also braille uh, focus braille 14 you realize that there are some keys just on top of each of the the, 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 the typing area or rather the, the, the braille display line where there's these keys they are called the casa routine keys casa routine keys are positioned on top of each of the cell that is on a refreshable display. So on Orbit Reader 20, it's not available, but on, Obi, on uh, Focus um, Braille Reader, then it's available, both on Focus 14 and Focus 40. So when you get uh, Orbit Reader for 40, there's an Orbit Reader 40, then it also has this improved version. So for Orbit Reader, the company that has uh, developed this, that is uh, Orbit Research, with lots of um, influence from the Royal National Institute for the Blind in the United Kingdom, it is having a mid, uh, a low tech, that is um, Orbit 20, and a mid tech, that is Orbit 40. With Orbit 40, which I don't have right now, it has the Braille uh, Casa routine keys now i want you to see just how it refreshes if you can notice i'm just navigating on my orbit to confirm to those that use vision on how the braille is refreshing so you realize it is the same line but then it is refreshing when i move it writes something different it has written size I move again, it has written date. I navigate again, it has written um, unprotected. I navigate again, it has written um, uh, alphabet songs, for example. So it is, it is refreshing. This gives the reader the ability to scroll down or scroll up so that they can interact with the context. Okay. Having said that, then I want to quickly now just uh, give basic features of the low, mid, and high tech. Now, for the low tech, let me start with the Orbit Reader. It has common features. One, a memory card for you to store information here. 
yes this is an sd card that's a safe digital card it has also a braille keyboard and a braille display and then by default it would also have navigating keys for example to navigate to pan up or pan down then lastly it is able to connect to secondary devices for example it is able to connect to a computer or to a smartphone that's a low tech a mid tech like this device here is able to do all what a, a low tech can do but then it is also able to now have this uh, routine keys the casa routine keys that i explained such that when you want to navigate to uh, say if it is the letter um, nyange or the letter blessed yes b l e s s e d you want to navigate to letter e very quickly instead of navigating with the arrow keys until you get to b to l then to e you just tap the key that is immediately on top of e and then the cursor jumps there directly then of course it has all the features that we mentioned it has the chance for a memory card it has the chance for uh, to connect to other devices it also has a braille keyboard and it has um, the ability to read and write in braille a high tech for example this device here uh, okay sorry this device here this is braille uh, braille not touch this is a tablet by itself it's one of its kind let me just remove it for you to see it clearly yes this is a tablet as you can see it but then packed with a keyboard this is the keyboard so that one can fix this device this way and as you notice it also has um, a screen this screen is important especially for those who are low vision they would need to read both in braille and in large print or those that are training braille those that are training braille or even better to the teacher that may be having a student who is using this device yet they don't know braille so the teacher does not know braille lakini mwanafunzi wake anajua braille so chenye huyo mwanafunzi anaandika then it will be displayed on the on the on the screen i will demonstrate that very quickly shortly now as the device shifts from being low to mid then mid to high it then comes with different other things to do with uh, for example the software that it can uh, it can link to for example to this kind of a device this um, refreshable display here called braille me it can interact with several not, not braille me but uh, this is focus focus it can interact with uh, not just computer but also phones but apart from that can also connect to other software so that it is able to interact with applications that would be able to now send information to display here on this device now for orbit now that i said that orbit uh, research have already developed uh, what we call orbit reader 40 it also has um, an application that allows you the chance for example if it is a teacher to install it in your in your phone smartphone or a smart or a tablet and then you'll be able to uh, you know link say 2 10 5 or 15 devices for example and then you are able to monitor those devices just like it happens with a cctv controller where one is able to switch from um, cctv a to cctv d to cctv k then uh, that application allows somebody to use their phone or tablet to switch from uh, orbit user one to orbit user five so this allows uh, a teacher to be in a position to manage whatever the teacher whatever the students are doing that application is called orbit teacher 
and there's also another one called Orbit Student, the, an application that allows you the chance to interact, especially on phone. So I type in Braille, so you receive in print, and then you, you text me in print, but I receive in Braille. Those are some of the applications that I'm saying would be now compatible with a mid-tech based device. For example, Orbit 40 or uh, Focus, Focus Braille 40. Having said that, allow me to say something about now the high-tech. High-tech devices like this human Braille Note Touch does quite much. This one, apart from just being able to do all the tasks I mentioned for low-tech and mid-tech, it allows the ability to install applications. Install applications. Like I mentioned, this is a tablet. Being a tablet means that I can install just basically any application that I want. It is important for this video to mention that this is an Android-based tablet. So it is running Android version 8 for now. Android version 8. And it allows me to install applications like Bible, applications like um, uh, just VLC, for example, and any other application that you may have installed on your, on your Android-based device. So that already becomes a very important feature as compared to the mid-tech one and the low-tech ones, okay? Now, having said that, I need to also add the fact that high-tech, the, the, the higher the device than in terms of uh, low, mid and high, the more functions you can perform with it. There's a million functions you can do with the Braille uh, Braille not touch the one that I'm holding here because you can let me just do a simple demo here okay I get to Microsoft Word and just um, uh, okay let me just do it as you see so I get to I navigate to Word like I said this being a tablet then it comes with uh, some of this apps pre-installed word processor so i click i choose the option there are different options like um, create open uh, print email emboss and all that so um for the purposes of those who are blind let me activate speech because i said this device also accommodates many functions let me increase the volume Good. Top. So now contacts. I'm on contacts. I navigate. Email. Email. Internet. Chrome. Word processor. Keyword. And I activate. Keyword menu. Create. And by default, it plants me on create. I activate. So you realize yeah, I'm even just using the Edit box. End of document. The routine casa keys. The casa routine keys. So that I be able to just um, navigate, you know, to this device. So I'm able to just um, type something. Let me just bring the keyboard down so that I can type. Dot six. D E M O N S T R A T I O N. Dots two five. Demonstration. So you realize that it has already typed what I want. Dot six. Sorry. New line. End, so it, end of document. It has already typed what I want, and it is possible for someone to see. I would wish my director to confirm that it's visible. Visible. Thank you, thank you. Uh, my director confirms that uh, you should be able to see on the screen that uh, it has typed de demonstration. Now, um. Another very wonderful feature that has not been seen with other devices this far as of today, 2nd of April 2023, is that one can
type, sorry, 2nd of May 2023 is that one can type on the screen. So I place my fingers, I place my fingers like this. So it discovers where I would be most comfortable when placing my fingers. And then I would just be type. Uh, I can just type, start typing, but still in Braille. Dot I, I, A, M, M. Dot M, Y, A, N, G, E, Yang. Dots two, three, four, six. The B, L, E, S, S. Dots one, two, four, six. Blessed. Dots one, two, three, four, six. A, A, P, P, Y. Happy T, O, D, E, M, O, O. N. I. Dots three, P, dots two, I. Dot, dot five, dots two, five. D, D, E, M, O, M, N. And delete, and delete, or deleted. And deleted, E, deleted, E, M, O. N, dots, R, A, T, E. Demonstrate, H, dots two, four, T, O. Two U S E A B R L N O T E T dots dots one six dots two five six end of document. Yes, and I've just typed something there. Space. Let me just take it up so that it can read. A braille no touch. I am Yang the blessed and happy to demo the demonstrate how to use. A braille no touch. Good. Now I typed a wrong word there so that I, I would demonstrate how to delete it. Just I am Yang the blessed and happy to demonstrate how to use. So I navigate just slowly, uh, Yang the blessed and happy to demonstrate something that is not making sense. So like I was saying, I could just bring uh, the cursor directly to what I want. In this case, just here um, on this space between demonstrate and this wrong word, there, I tap there. So um, for my visually impaired uh, personnel or the VIPs, the visually impaired persons, you notice as much as it has not said something, but it has brought the casa just on this space. Thank you. Now I can start pressing backspace so that it deletes. Dots two, five deleted. Okay. Dots three, dots two, I deleted, dots P deleted, dots three, I deleted, and deleted. Oh, and deleted, of deleted, space delete, or deleted. Yes. And now I am done oh, with two. that. So it is clear now to demonstrate there's no any misspelled word. Otherwise, this is just to show you how a high end uh, refreshable braille display, or commonly called braille note taker, can do. However, for a, mm, a, a very detailed, uh, very detailed uh, demonstration, I'll be doing it later. That's why I need you to actually subscribe so that you are not passed. I'll do a very detailed one for each of these devices um, in my next videos. So you need to be ready so that you can see how each one works so that you tell whether it fits your pocket. But before I end, allow me to say something small about um, prices. Now, of course, low tech would have low amounts. High tech would have high amounts. For an Orbit Reader 20, currently, um, you may get it uh, with about less than a thousand US dollars. Kwa Kenya shillings yu ni karibia elfu miyamoja hivi, utapata, utapata an Orbit Reader. And uh, depending on where you're getting it, sometimes maybe you may get it at 90,000 and such. Now, for a high-tech device like this, Braille Me, Braille Me, this you realize that a uh, mid-tech, sorry, not high-tech, but mid-tech like Braille Me, it may have 500 US dollars more. So you may get it at about 1,500 US dollars. Um, this other one here, because also of uh, having a longer space for someone to read, this is 20, uh, Braille Me is uh, 20 cells and uh, Focus uh, is 40 cells. And as much as it's mid, both of them are mid, but this one may be a little costlier, probably about 2,000 US dollars. And then now for this very high-tech device, this high-tech device, is approximately five 
thousand US dollars. Currently, um, Kenyan money about seven hundred thousand. But if I must say, this is these are just all about costs. A braille display, a braille, a braille Stay machine. Touch. A braille machine to produce braille in uh, these sheets of paper like I was showing you in the beginning is also costing approximately a thousand US dollars. And that is a manual machine that is heavy. I wish I would do a demonstration of it sometime too. It's a heavy machine and also it, it cannot store information like this one is doing storing information. And most, most unfortunate, it cannot work without paper. So it means that it has a recurring cost as compared to this. Now you know. So in case you happen to be interested kuweza kusupport mtu kwa kuweza kununua one of these devices, especially wao watu ambao kuna visual impairment, please, you know which one to go for. Of course, you would first of all need to have them tell you their need. Iliweza kujua which one would be most appropriate for them. Then you consult your pocket and boom, you'll be ready to go. Having said that then, I would wish to end it there. But before that, I would wish to remind you to, to please subscribe so that you'll be able to see um, the next clips that I'll be forwarding here for you to see. And apart from that, remember, you also have a stick. Please write to me. Tell me what is it that you'd wish to to know so that I demonstrate it for you here. Which of these that you are most interested to see it work so that I can also demonstrate it for you to see. And in case you happen to have a challenge in purchasing for those interested to support those with visual impairment, don't worry. Just leave a comment and I will guide. I have been yours, Nyange, the blessed blind, who is the disability inclusive assistive tech guru. Thank you. Goodbye.